So here we go then. The Blue Ribbon event of schools rugby. Bromsgrove School against Quags Wakefield. They did really well. They've just got to keep showing patience. Don't give a penalty because, again, Bromsgrove's line-out drive's outstanding. You don't want to give penalties away and that's for them to kick the corner. Good tackle. Well, the, oh, one big benefit for the majority of these players out here that they've been here before, uh, even at under-15 level for Quags and Bromsgrove are under-18 level. It's massive playing here before. These Quakes guys, they'll be confident. I think they've been unbeaten this season. They'll come into this thinking that they can win this. And right, Drop goal attempts. And rightly so. And that's over. Good start for the number 10. James Taylor. Really clinical, for want of a better word, professional start from Bronze Grove. Here's what you're asking for, Sam. Here's what you're asking for. Headstruck is fully legal. Picked up by Tolby. It's bought a little bit of a gap. Clark, tries to go himself, goes over the top, takes the NFL oh, route, Tovey, on the right hand side, oh, and in the corner, maybe there's an opportunity here for Joe Gates, is he there? He is there! Over a try, on the final, goes to the Orchard goal! Fantastic hands from the backs out there, they've got on the middle, Tovey, who was superb in the second, in the semi-final, has a little snipe, gets not, um, how you finish with an overlap great pass good strength there by the winger in he goes really good try from Quiggs then as we said you've got to take it to this Bronx Grove you've got to attack them it's what Whitgift did in that semi-final when they got four tries in the second half good take by Jacob Glover and now they've got it set really good Fire's got to get out of there. Five. No, no. Don't take it out. No legs, no legs. Go down now, go down now. Go down. Oh, this is a try. Really worked by Harry Ferguson. Quakes have had a lot of despair on this ground in the, in the past, but right now they're in dreamland. Ten through the lead. Outstanding driving ball. You can see Toby wanting to take that out. I'm not sure why, but fair play. Nathan Young wasn't letting that. Was it, sorry, who scored that? Nathan Young's doing your part. Young wasn't letting that ball go. Rightly so. Keep that going forward. You're not going to stop him from there. Nathan Young's the, the yeah, scorer. 10-3. Quegg's lead. My word. Drive through. Charge through. Walker. Morris. Five it's meters out. Tackle. He's on his ass. Tackle. Release. Kate's release. No, he's on his bum. Wooten picks up Tom Ford. Wooten again. Lawrence Weston. Shot in. Wall. Just shy of the line. Stay two. Walker picks up and goes. Everyone off now. And again. Backwards. Wooten. Mm, big hit. Wharton again. Taylor. Away, Yellows. They'll continue to go left. Away, one. Alison Falk. Hold back, hold back, hold back. Wharton says to go himself. Good defence there from Ed and Kelly. Just short of that line, that's how far away they are, and they continue with the pick up and go. Is it down? It is down! Really, really impressive play there from Bromsgrove. They must have gone through seven, eight phases, as you said, using their power runners, then going wide. Taylor had a go from 10. The Quakes defence was outstanding, but you just can't keep defending and defending and defending. Eventually, something's got a game. You can't really see who got it there. Wharton. Taylor. 
James. Cooper Bent. 12, release first. There it is. He didn't release it first, though, and that's the reason why. Taylor. Jack Weston Back. picks up. Edwards. Walker. Walker kept it in play. He's done brilliantly there to keep that in play. Fostier. Three metres out. 90 seconds left to play in this first half. Wharton. Taylor. Hunt. Roy Jones. Keeper Bent. Is he over? He certainly is. What a superb try. They've gone from touchline to touchline with about four or five passes all in front of the player, all on the money. Superb skill from the Bromsgrove backs there. Bromsgrove not giving up. The Raiders Kings without a fight. Cooper Bent scores their second try. And now they lead by 13 points to 10. Well, so far, four tries we've had in this first half, Sam. And all absolutely fantastic. Like, we only saw the sort of last couple of passes then. But then... Be surprised if it's not Ward or Blake Edwards coming here, or both of them. Wharton? Yeah, Edwards. Edwards was the one with the charging run. Then Wharton. Walker. <laughs> then Walker. You know what's coming. <laughs> then Fook. Folk. Fook. <laughs> oh, he, he went just no, ahead of the ball there. Morris. Opportunity on the far side now. Using the wings. And now only five metres out. Wharton. Ferguson. No ball! And they won the penalty. Top and go taken quickly. He's in. He is in. Back cutting once more and scored the third. Brom's got a try and now the late clear. Really impressive. They get that, yeah, the rock's formed. He can't stick his hands in there. He's just seen it, he's got over eager. And then the number eight taps and goes. Yeah, back cutting was the score up. Yeah, please. Tap yeah. The, the tap and go. Okay, that might have been lost. Has it? No, just six. yeah, hasn't yeah, turned over. Bromsgrove have got that. Well, Bromsgrove are going to be the sixth score. Now roll. To become back to back. Under 18 cup winners. They kick it into touch. And that is that. Bromsgrove stay on the iron throne of Schools Rugby. They are the sixth school in the history of this competition to go back to back. Welcome to the Bromsgrove dynasty. Thoroughly deserved. They played brilliant in that in that game. Quegs threw the proverbial kitchen sink at them, gave them everything they could. They withstood it, they defended brilliantly. When they had their chances, they took them. Cracking game, two brilliant teams going at it. Bronze Grove thoroughly deserved to come out victorious, but Quegs can hold their heads up higher. Oh, they amen. did. Absolutely. They did exactly what they came to do. They had a game plan, they stuck with it, and just unfortunately for them in the second half, they had a couple of chances. If you don't take them against this Bronze Grove team, they will finish you off. It is Henry Walker, in fact, is going to pick up the trophy. As they've defended their title with honor. Bromsgrove, back to back. Absolutely superb. 
performance, team performance as well from Bromsgrove School. Sam, I'm going to give you the, the, the final words. Tell me, first of all, your final words on this Bromsgrove team. I think, as you just said there, a real team performance. I think last year, very forward dominated. Luke White's boot put them in the right areas. And he's often the case. After your first year winning, you try and develop that all-round game. I think they've got more of that this year, which has made them even more impressive. From 1 to 15, they've got threats everywhere. Like, their second try was exceptional. Thoroughly deserved from Bromsgrove. Quicks can hold their heads up high. Cracking final. But Bromsgrove are undoubtedly the best team in the country this year. Finally, from uh, me, Sam, your thoughts on the day as a whole? Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Unfortunately, the last four years, I haven't seen any of the other games. Uh, um, but it's been absolutely fantastic. The, the quality of play from the under-15s, and not just in the cup competition, the Vars competitions as well. The quality of play from all eight sides here today has been excellent. I'm frozen, but I've absolutely <laughs> loved today. It's been brilliant. Well, if we're here again next year, my friend, I'll bring a portable heater <laughs> if the weather's like this. But we're, ho we're hoping for some nice spring sunshine if we do, ever do this again. Sam, my absolute thanks to you for being uh, here uh, with me this afternoon. It's been an absolute thoroughly enjoyable afternoon, but more importantly, for those gentlemen on the screen, they are back-to-back -back champions. On behalf of Sam Howard and Johnny Bryan saying thank you for joining us here at Twickenham. Bye for now.